What is up? It's your boy. Guys? Guys, where are you? What are you doing, buddy? Come on, we got a video to make. What is up? It's your boy, and you're bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, I'm holding my camera with my right hand. It feels extremely awkward. Now we're rolling. So I have an interesting video for you today because, well, this video includes me. So today's video is gonna be for the people that wanna get into off-roading. Now, it looks very glamorous, it looks beautiful, and it looks awesome online, but a lot of people don't talk about what actually goes into it. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over a couple things to consider, some things to do, some things not to do when getting into off-road. So if you're interested, let's get right into the video. This weekend is looking mighty, mighty fine. The boss has already confirmed I could take the day off, I can go wheeling, but um, do you see that? I don't, I don't think you see that. Can you see it now? How about now? Yeah, me neither. There's no pinstriping on this bad boy yet. And I don't know how I feel. Now the quicksand, although it was a beautiful color, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome color. That color looks good with some pinstriping. Go ahead, scratch it up. Do whatever you want to do to it. But I don't know, maybe over time, I'll want to take it out and hit the trails, but as of right now, I'm kind of holding off. But nonetheless, let me know. Should I go out and hit the same trail where my Tacoma shut off on me? Or maybe save it until I'm lifted with bigger tires, different wheels. I'm interested. The number one thing that I want to talk about to the people who are just now getting into off-roading. They're seeing these cool videos. Don't go out and spend $40,000 on a Toyota Tacoma with a rear locking differential or go to a TRD Pro because it needs to have all the gizmos and gadgets so that you can off-road. It feels a lot better to take out a five, ten thousand dollar $10,000 off-road vehicle, off-road, beat it up, do whatever, versus taking your daily driver off-road, beat it up, and then come home with a big dent, come home with a big scratch. So that's my first thing. You don't need a lot of money to get into it. You need a lot of money to stay into it. I'll tell you that much though. For example, my last Tacoma had scratches all on the windshield in the actual glass. If I wanted to get it replaced, I had to buy a whole new window. I don't know how many of you guys have money just to buy a new window. Not me though. So that's my first suggestion. Pick something up off like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. You may even find something that's already off-road ready. Somebody just needs to get rid of a vehicle. Number two, a lot of people say but don't actually do, and that's prepare for the worst. Now, my very first off-roading trip, I stood by that. Prepare for the very worst and do whatever it takes to be prepared. Now on that same trip, I took one water bottle, an orange, and a butter knife. So if something would have gone wrong, I had no tools on board. It's always better to be safe than sorry. I think we all can agree on that. Number three kind of goes directly with number one and two. Wow, these are pretty good. Prepare to break things, all right? So if you're just getting into this hobby, you're brand new and you're thinking it's all sunshine and rainbows, you're gonna be driving down these mountains and cool edits and music is gonna be playing behind you, uh, it's very wrong. It's gonna be fun, until something breaks. Not if something breaks, when something breaks. It doesn't necessarily need to break, it can just get damaged or scratched. Now, let's talk about some things that I messed up off-roading. I scratched up my windows, on my quicksand, my bumper. On my quicksand, my bumper was all scratched. I had pinstriping from the start of my truck to the end of my truck. Last time I was laying underneath my truck in this parking lot, I got kicked out because they thought I was working on my truck. That got bent up pretty bad. It became something that, well, you kind of just have to live with. You can't change it. Do you know how much it would cost to repaint the whole Tacoma? Even to just get bumper cap replacements. It's like 300, 400 bucks. All of these things for a weekend activity. There's a bunch of paper all over the floor. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's being a litter bug. Looks like there's a note on this thing. What does it say? I can't say I'm mad at them. Like, comment, subscribe. Number four, modifications. Modifications in the off-roading community are endless. I think that was my favorite part about getting into the off-road community. The mods are endless. Now, if you want to be a street princess, they're endless in a more cosmetic way. Like, you can only do so many stickers, you can only do so much tough skins, but off-roading, you can get bigger wheels, you can get bigger tires, you can get air compressed locking differentials, you can get air compressors, you can do so many things, it's endless. One channel in particular that is killing the game, that is doing so many modifications that I'm absolutely envious of Mumphy. Mumphy is killing the game go check him out he recently actually hit a thousand subscribers i'll link his channel down below the man is doing wonders okay i'll tell you that much and last and last but not least experience experience is king in the off-roading world at least that's what i learned when you first get out there i promise you i kid you not look you see this little pebble right here you see this on my first trip i told sandy to get out the truck i told sandy she was my spotter 
it was so funny to me the the rocks okay not even boulders that she was like like trying to get me to avoid and uh well with experience you know you can just drive around them maybe try that if you can't drive around them you know what you can and cannot run over so get out there start small get your feet wet the tires wet and then you'll learn what you can and can't do and know your limitations it's very important to know your limitations but that's about it i hope this video helped out at least one person if it did then we all have to like comment and subscribe even myself i'll like comment and subscribe on this video but without further ado i hope you guys did enjoy but nonetheless it's been your boy oh my gosh i told you look at this rav4 voodoo blue look i'm, t I'm telling you. nonetheless it's been your boy i'm out like an audi i'll see you tomorrow single tomorrow peace